the squat of the upper body, the overhead press, Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com alongside. Katie Lobliner. Katie rocking it. Look at you using a curl bar. You know what? Those bars are 45 pounds, man. That's heavy. But look at Katie's form. See, what you got to realize, the overhead press, Katie, it works your chest, your shoulders, your delts, your shoulders and delts, both of them. <laughs> your triceps, your biceps works everything. Stabilizers, core, legs, everything's worked. The squat of the upper body. This, you were just getting over that stomach flu. This was the day after being in bed all day from the stomach flu. Yeah, dude, I got it on Sunday. I was training with Cammy, and it hit me, man, during, uh, during goblet squats. Man, did that suck. I only had it for like six hours, but even today, I almost puked after my chest session. Like after the first drop set? The nausea continues. Yeah, it does. I mean, and I've been at about 70%. I'd say I feel great mentally and physically, but my power output is gone. I have lost 12 pounds. It's crazy, Lucky man. You. Lucky No, not unless not when you're trying to make gains. <laughs> man, that shirt is awesome. Is that that Tiger Fitness shirt? That is a Tiger Fitness burnout tank. And then if you go forward, you'll see me in that machine gear. Dude, TigerFitness.com has all this gear. Go buy it because it's awesome, because it supports us. <laughs> so... We got bills to pay, man. We ain't going to lie. Three kids. Like, oh, somebody posted on the comments. I love comments. Oh, you're always trying to sell me stuff. The channel's uh, no called kidding. the Tiger Fitness. At least we're honest about it. The other channels are like, hey, look at my Gymshark sponsorship. Gymshark, now I own this bitch. I ain't just getting a commission on it. This is mine. I'm trying to make it go. I have employees to pay. Hell yeah, we're going to promote it, man. I'm not a businessman. I'm a business, man. Yeah, I had like no strength. I, the day I was sick, I... Was in bed from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. I think I ate a bowl of cream of wheat and a fiber full bar from Trader Joe's, and that was it. Yeah. So it, it just, wow, that was a bad sickness. Yeah, you look at me now, I look way flatter now. I mean, I'm getting better. It's starting to fill out. But I've been literally drinking carbolic throughout the day, mm -hmm. trying to build it up. Anyway, we got calves going on here. I don't know how much longer we have in this video. But yeah, we, we watched the kids, the nephew and the niece yesterday, and they were over in the neighbor kids. And I, I made the mistake of telling yo mama jokes. Jaden had the best one. Jaden has, I forgot what it was. It, your mama's so fat, she went to the doctor, and the doctor said, I asked for your weight, not your phone number. Uh, <laughs> Coming from a fifth grader, it was hilarious. Oh, uh, dude, yeah, there were some good ones. Now, I looked up online some, you know, some deaf comedy jam yo mama jokes. They were all so raunchy, I couldn't say them, which sucked. Because they were really, really good. And then the kids decided that they could Google Yo Mama jokes. Yeah, and Cammy got in trouble. It's part of my fault. Yeah. I am not cut out to be a father. I'm cut out to be a coach and like a part-time father. Like I'm the best when it comes to like training with my kids and playing with my kids. But when it comes to like actually babysitting, it's like putting a five-year-old in charge of a bunch of four-year-olds. It just doesn't work. I've yet to grow up. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. What? I told her she could look at them up if she put four kids and then looked at ones that were from kids, but that didn't go over too well. Nah, man. Cammy's, Cammy's my, look, but all I know is that everybody knows in that video, she asked permission to say the word crappy. Now, Thomas. Oh. Give me a break, guys. I'm working my ass off here. And that ass. Sorry,